competition, several bike sharing companies will soon hit the streets promising a much easier experience in picking up and dropping off. The new bikes will be equipped with GPS equipment and will not require riders to use docking stations. Good, good, good. All right, but not everybody's on board. Stacey Delacat spoke to some more raising concerns. There are 10,000 city bikes on the streets of New York and more are on the way. The city council has proposed allocating $12 million to expand the program to all five boroughs, but new bike share companies could also be rolling in. A completely new way to bike sharing is right around the corner. So let's According to the New York Post, a number of startups, including Blue Go Go and MoBike, have their sights set on New York City. Another company, Spin, tells the paper they plan to launch above 116th Street and on Staten Island, two areas currently not served by City Bike. Unlike City Bike, the new bike shares don't have physical docking stations. Instead, they come with GPS enabled locks and can be picked up and dropped off anywhere using an app. City Bike users like Matt McGalley say that could eliminate frustrating encounters with empty docking stations or full ones when he's trying to drop off. I would just know that the bike was going to be there when I need it, and I could get rid of it when I need it, so I'm not running late anywhere, that'd be great. Many of the companies originated in China and already operate in other U.S. cities, charging less than a dollar per 30-minute ride. I think it would drive the prices down for us. In general, I like the idea of competition, but I think it's going to be a hard nut to crack if there are docking stations here, and <clears throat> the competitors, it sounds like, will require a little bit more planning ahead. Some critics fear an influx of bike share services could make New York City streets look like these overcrowded ones in China. A spokesperson for City Bike had no comment on the potential competitors, but City Councilman Yadonis Rodriguez is working on legislation that would regulate any new bike sharing competitors. Anyone who is trying to open and take opportunity of the markets that we have in our city, they should apply for a license and it should be up to DOT to approve or disapprove any request. Councilman Rodriguez says he plans to introduce his bill on regulating ride sharing services in the coming weeks. On the Upper East Side, I'm Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News. A first look today at the new citywide ferry boat. It can hold 149 passengers. It arrives Sunday after a 13 day, 2,000 mile journey from the Gulf of Mexico. It's one of 19 citywide ferries that will launch sometime this summer. A ride will cost the same as the bus or subway. This ferry will be docked in New Jersey for the next few weeks until the new Brooklyn Navy Yard dock is up and running. Well, don't be surprised if you